Sheila, we have two great alumni, Megan and Victoria, on the show today. Uh, Scotty, did you know that a female alumni is actually called alumna? No, that's not accurate. Why are you lying to us? Check Google, man. No, I don't believe you. I'm just going to start the show. This is dumb. Oh, grumpy. Welcome back to season two, Serious and Silly. I'm Scott. This is Sheila. And Sheila, today I am super duper excited. We have two of our most wonderful alumni. I'm so happy to see their smiling faces. I'm just going to take a moment to take it in. Um, yeah. Um, we have Megan Lestum and Victoria DuPont joining us. Uh, Victoria is a graduate of our health science program. Megan is a graduate of our world studies program. But besides that, more importantly, they were part of everything we did at Student Services. I swear they didn't sleep. They were part of our flip. They were part of leadership. They did our TED Talks. They did all kinds of volunteering. And uh, I think actually they, they made me lunch every day too. You don't know that. They made me uh, bologna sandwiches. They cut off the crust. Sometimes cheese, you know, on Friday. So it was really nice. I appreciated that. But we're so happy to have you guys. How are you today? Great, great. Thank you for having us. Yes, thank you so much. We're doing great. <laughs> it's so, so fun just, to see you guys again. Uh, so good to see you guys. So we're going to start with you, uh, Victoria. Uh, for the people, there are some people, even though you guys are both Champlain legends who don't know you. So, Victoria, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Okay, well, my name is Victoria. I went to Champlain three years ago, I think. Well, I graduated in 2018. So I was there from 2016 to 2018. I was in the health program. And I'm someone who loves to get involved and just start projects. Like I don't really think everything through. I just have an idea and I'll work from there. <laughs> so I love um, building projects, doing volunteer work. Uh, so that's how I got to meet Scotty and everyone from Student Services. And from that, I've gotten so many wonderful opportunities. Uh, right now, I'm studying in Laval University in Quebec City. I'm in physiotherapy, my third year. And I'm studying in French. <laughs> but um, yeah, so, and I love sports. I love the outdoors. So that's pretty much it. <laughs> I don't know how to sum yeah, we, When Victoria was at Champlain, we swear she never slept. Uh, <laughs> you know, get it all in. So and fun. Megan, even though one day you'll be in the Champlain Hall of Fame, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? <laughs> Yeah, um, I'm studying political science at McGill, um, studying my master's in journalism in a few months. Um, I'm really interested in like art and politics and technology and all, where all of that intersects. So like when I was at Champlain, we worked on TEDx, which then became a project after I left. And even now I'm still working on TEDx projects with Champlain alums. So that's really, that's really fun. So yeah, it's the kind of a, a good breeding ground for like all of the things I'm interested in. So, so yeah. Oh, thank I'm really you. Excited so to be here with y'all. You guys are awesome. I mean, I, I mentioned it like several times, but Scotty was super excited um, to have you back on the back with us on campus. Um, and so is Dean and Juanita. Um, so we really, really appreciate you coming on, on the show with us today. Um, I take it that you both, um, your primary language, maybe at home um, before coming to Champlain, was was in, was French, probably, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you guys came to Champlain um, and you studied for the first time in English. So um, I wanted to kind of get you how your experience was because we do have a good portion of our of our community that is studying English for the first time. So just how was your experience with with that? Um, I, I don't mind going first. Go ahead. Um, <laughs> just during like, for example, during open house, I remember we got the same question over and over again. And I think it's because it's such an important question. Everybody would come and see us and say, oh, what's it like switching from French to English? And personally, I think going to an English school is the best thing that I did because being surrounded by so many people who speak in English, I made some Anglophone fr friends. I was always practicing. I you're just surrounded, you're like in a bubble of English, so you just learn that much faster. Mm -hmm. And also to all the students who are a bit worried, well, I just wanted to say, don't worry because you're not the only person who speaks French. There's, I think more than like 50 people who speak it, Quebecois. So um, like the teachers are really open. They, they'll never force you, they'll always want to help. And 
the one of Champlain's major strengths is just like team teamwork and family and all being together. So I feel when I was there, I didn't feel competition. I felt like everyone in my class just wanted to help, and I didn't feel like uh, but like that word to go <laughs> see uh, resources. Yeah. And just to build on that, it's like, it's the thing is, is that Champlain is such a bilingual community that like, even though it's an English environment, as soon as you come in, you know that the people that are coming there, like they understand French, right? So like you can do something like just like what Victoria just did and kind of like throw in a French word there, here and there because like everyone here speaks yeah. French and English in the most part. And another thing is that like a lot of people who have either started working there or who have gone through Champlain have also gone through that process of like, English not being their first language and then it becoming a language in which with they're more comfortable. So a lot of the resources are built around that process as well because because Sejep is such an exploratory period where you're kind of like you're you're making decisions about what your life wants to be, but you're also like trying a bunch of different things within that lane. So it 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 lends itself nicely to like start a an academic language for the first time because like you're trying so many new different things so it might as well like be immersed in an environment that is a little bit uncomfortable but still lends itself nicely to like a community learning experience yeah oh gosh wow okay but i promise we did not pay these students to <laughs> say any of these awesome things about champlain college <laughs> <laughs> and if i can just add like one little thing but it's more like specific to my program but i remember a lot of people asking me like switching from french to english when you're in health science it's kind of a good thing because it's more like numbers, it's less essays. So, and you're learning so many new things that you come, you kind of like start from zero, like you start fresh. So all the things you're learning, you don't have to like try to find a traduction, yeah. like to translate the words that you learned in high school. You just get to learn new things. And since it's numbers and everything, it's easier to associate with like a, the English words. Perfect. Oh my gosh. How, how smart are these two issues? Eh? <laughs> we just have them on every episode. No matter what we're talking about, we'll we'll have people on and then you guys can come on too. <laughs> okay, I, I don't mind. We'll have a recurring segment. <laughs> yeah. exactly. So uh, I want to address the uh, the elephant in the room, if you might. Obviously, uh, this has been a hot uh, topic recently with the talk of, uh, you know, extending Bill 101 to see depths and uh, capping uh, of uh, places in English sea depths. So we don't want to get too political, but I really do want to get your opinion. We'll start with Megan this time about, you know, obviously you guys both came from wonderful French high schools. Your grades were amazing. You had the choice of CJEP. Why did, why, what made you, or why did you want to study in English? Um, well, actually, I wasn't coming from like great grades. Actually, I was when I was in high school, like they, they were like, mm, maybe you should just stay in French and like not go. So it's not like it's not like dreams and unicorns over here. Like it's not like, like I did like it. I, there was some barriers at the start because they, I, they weren't sure that I was going to be able to succeed in English, which I'd like to think that I did. So there's that. <laughs> but I think that um, I think that having Bill 101 right now be limited to high school and uh, elementary school um, is sufficient in my personal opinion as a political science student. Um, but um, yeah, so I think that uh, Sejep is at, at that point, you're like almost an adult, you're making adult decisions for your life and for, and you, you've already built your cultural background in regards to your language, in regards to your identity. And so like in Sejep, it's more like a transi tran transitory period where in which you're kind of, shifting into like, what do you want to do for the future and whatnot. And I think that it's a very liberating experience to get to not only choose the programs in which you want to go, but also the languages that you want to study in. And so I think that to have that opportunity and that stepping stone into the professional world and kind of setting yourself up for the professional world that you want to be in is something that's very interesting, especially considering that bilingualism is such an asset in the, in the workforce that it, it, even if you do end up like going back to French school, because a lot of my friends went to Sejep in English, but then go back to French school. So it's not like a limiting aspect. It doesn't stop you from engaging in French culture in Quebec. I think it's just a, a, like a broadening of your horizons and kind of helps you develop your language skills and helps you develop also your interpersonal skills with other people. And um, helps you kind of like network beyond the French community and into other communities and understand different communities, which all are things that I that are like benefits for not only 
uh, as a person, but also like within the larger community and within the workforce. I think that is um, like an asset for everyone. Mm -hmm. That's amazing, yeah. Megan, can you send me the name of the person who told you that uh, you weren't going to succeed in English? I'll, I'll, <laughs> right after this. <laughs> I'll send them your transcript. Uh, Victoria, do you have uh, something you wanted to add to that? Um, yeah, it's hard to go after Megan because she's really good in politics and public speaking, but <laughs> I can try. I, I actually just wanted to add on to a bit of what Megan was saying in the end. I, I am presently like right now studying in French. So I did my high school in French and then I did CJEP in English and now I'm studying in French. And I can say that it has helped me out so much just because of the fact that so many of the research and so many of articles and everything is in English. So especially in like health science and in so many other like politics and all these programs, there's so many of the documents you're gonna read even if I'm studying in French right now, some of the articles that we're reading, they're all in English. So I really feel like I have kind of like an advantage in that sphere. Uh, every time we do group projects, I get asked questions on like, what does this mean? And I've been like already used to um, interpret, interpret these texts and to um, like, I don't know, understand them better. So now it's, I don't have to, not work as hard, but it's like a lot easier to go through my studies in yeah. in French and university. So yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to. I think it's a huge asset. <laughs> um, I wanted to just ask you guys, like you guys kind of mentioned it before, but what is and I would love for you to speak to say this in French. So please let me listen to your beautiful uh, French language. Um, can you please provide just some like wise words or advice that you can give to our, our students that are studying in, in French for the first time? And you, either or. So Victoria, I guess you can start and then we'll end off with Megan. Ben, en France, je peux parler en, en français. Vous allez entendre ma petite voix québécoise. Dans le fond, si il y avait une chose que j'aimerais dire à tout le monde que je trouve tellement c'est important, c'est pas cliché, c'est juste tellement ça. Pour vrai, là, ça se peut que c'est pas possible à cause de la COVID, mais je pense que le plus grand conseil que je pourrais donner, c'est de s'impliquer. Parce que pour vrai, de m'impliquer, c'est ça qui m'a le plus fait pratiquer mon anglais, c'est ça qui m'a fait rencontrer des gens, c'est ça qui m'a aidé dans mes études. Pour moi, je trouve que c'est genre l'élément central qui va t'amener à tellement faciliter ton entrée à Champlain, puis ces personnes-là vont te guider vers des ressources, puis après ça, tout se fait naturellement. C'est comme une porte d'entrée pour faire des amis, puis te trouver des contacts. Fait que pour moi, ce serait vraiment, implique-toi, aie pas peur, fais ta confiance, puis on passe tout par là, puis il y a des gens pour t'aider. Parfait. Amen. <rire> Oui, juste, je vais, je vais bâtir sur ce que, j'allais bâtir sur ce que Victoria avait dit, mais je vais, je vais peut-être me concentrer plus, plus sur, au niveau académique, comme un, un tip là-dessus. Mm -hmm. euh, mais au niveau académique, que ce soit en français ou que ce soit en anglais, le professeur est, est juste, et puis le, le but, c'est juste d'apprendre, quoi. C est, c est, donc, euh, fais juste penser à, comme tu peux même traduire les choses en français dans ta tête, puis ça, ça va enrichir la façon dont tu apprends, puis la façon dont tu... Donc, tu, tu, tu engages avec les matériaux qui sont présentés envers toi. Donc, fais juste penser à c'est quoi le but d'apprentissage dans ce contexte-là, au lieu de, de t'arrêter vers comme « Ah, oh, je ne comprends pas c'est quoi qui est écrit nécessairement. » Pense plus à c'est quoi que le professeur essaie de me faire parvenir dans ces mots-là, puis eh, essaie de, comme, de, de viser vers le but d'apprentissage au lieu de, de t'arrêter nécessairement sur euh, euh, des, des, des obstacles au niveau de la langue. Donc, ça, c'est... C'est mon, mon, mon wow. tip, j'imagine. Wow. <laughs> Wise words in both languages, Sheila. I have such respect for people who, uh, who study in English for the first time. You know, it's, it's, it's amazing when we see all our wonderful students just come and, you know, at first they seem really scared and frightened and then they blossom into these two wonderful people. <laughs> Victoria, go ahead. <laughs> It just popped in my head. I just wanted to say just an example of how important it is to study in English. I haven't studied in English for the past three years and my English is really rusty. And I feel like I'm, well, it's not that bad, but I'm still looking really for more at all. <laughs> so just to say that, like when I left CJ, I remember I would just go to the grocery store and I had like the reflex to speak in English. It just becomes like a, a habit. So it's fun to study in English. <laughs> 
Oh man. It's gonna be the title of our episode. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we really wanted to say, I, I mean, I said it again, thank you so much for, for taking the time. You guys are obviously super um, amazing students, amazing human beings. And uh, I know that you're going to succeed in like everything that you're doing, you know. Um, so again, just thank you so much. And we really appreciate you taking the time with us. Scotty, do you have anything to say? Megan, Victoria, just it was just wonderful seeing you guys. I'm so happy to see your smiling faces. And anytime we can figure out a way to get you on this show or or to Champlain College, uh, we will definitely do that. So just thank you guys. Thank you for everything that you did when you were here and thank you for continuing to be available to the Champlain students. It's so appreciated. Thank you for having us. Pleasure. Yeah, thank Our you pleasure. for <laughs> All right, take care ladies. Bye. Bye. So thank you for listening and make sure to check out the Champlain's YouTube page at Champlain St. Lambert on YouTube. We, they post on every Tuesdays. So yeah, thank you. See ya. <laughs> Good job.